What's up Skate Rats and Mongo Pushers? Today we're going to learn how to make the Santa Cruz logo in Adobe Illustrator. So, go to Illustrator, File New, name it Santa Cruz. Uh, my unit is in pixels, uh, and I'm going to choose 1500 by 1500, but yeah, you can do whatever you want. And uh, I'm going to grab a reference first, so go to Google Chrome or whatever you use, pull up Santa Cruz logo. Uh, that one looks pretty good. Uh, we're not really taking anything specific. We just kind of want to look at it. So we're semi-accurate. So in Illustrator, go to File, Place, then get the screenshot that you just did. Cool. Uh, scale it up. Just lock the layer. Name a reference. And we'll make the red circle first. So make a layer. Call it Circle. Go up here to your ellipse tool and hold shift and click and drag. And you can also like hold the space bar to like kind of move it around a little bit. Um, it's white right now. Um, we're just going to pick this first red here. Then go to your stroke and pick black. Then go to the stroke panel and scale it up to about 20. That looks pretty good. Let's make sure it's centered in the artboard. Uh, go to your align panel. Go to align to artboard and align it vertically and horizontally. Nice. Select that layer. We're gonna make a new layer. Call it letters. Um, so we want to match the angle that these letters are on. So grab the pen tool with P or here. And uh, yeah, just draw from like black to black to kind of get the angle. Make it a little bit bigger. Uh, right now the fill is red. We don't really need that. Uh, change the stroke to blue just so we can see it. Then click and drag it to the artboard that you're working on. And uh, from here we want the type to go on this path. So go to your type tool and go here to type on a path tool. And click. Um, right now it's Myriad Pro at 12 points. So go to like a hundred so we can see it a little bit bigger um, and yeah this is a, a specific font called Santa Carla um, it's designed by some guy named Kirk or something um, I'll, I'll link it in the description it's a free font that you can download um, and yeah we still want to make it bigger and uh, yeah what these like uh, handles are when you type on a path they're kind of uh, dictating where the text is starting. So right now it's left aligned. You can center align it. You can right align it. Uh, let's just keep it centered for now. And uh, I'm, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I want yeah, the left and the right to pop out just a, a little bit. Cool, that looks pretty good for now. Uh, we're going to make a copy by holding shift option and just dragging down from Santa and this will be cruise. Um, and yeah, this is all live text right now still. So you can go into Santa and hold option and hit your arrow keys to kind of like adjust the kerning between each letters, especially like with, yeah, with these like triangle, like A's here, like they need to be pulled in. We don't want to pull them in too close because we're still going to put like the stroke in the 3d so we don't want to crowd them uh, but yeah we just kind of want it a little we're just working on consistency so just get them like semi uh, evenly spaced center that up a little bit more and uh, yeah let's go ahead and make it this yellow color so get your fill click the eyedropper and just drop the yellow and that'll grab the yellow and uh, yeah, as you can see, like the angle looks pretty good, but like these are also like leaning forward a little bit too. So highlight both of them and then go to effect, distort and transform, then go to free distort. It's only going to show cruise, but it'll, uh, it'll do both of them at the same time since you grabbed both of them. And yeah, pull both of these top handles at a little bit of an angle, you're going to go about the same distance. That looks pretty good. And hit OK. 
Um, I kind of like that, but even if I didn't, I could go to the appearance panel and you can see like the effect right here. You click it, um, that'll kind of keep what I had and I can like readjust it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go here. And yeah, you can do that as many times as you want to, uh, yeah, just kind of get like just the angle. And the, the nice thing about this is, uh, yeah, this is still live text. So you can type whatever you want in here. I'm gonna type cool guy designs. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Give emphasis to the cool guy. You know what I mean? And I wanna make this just a little bit smaller too. We just wanna jutting out a little bit. That looks pretty good. And now we're gonna be like real thrashing savages and destroy this text even though We've done all this work to keep it preserved up until now. So just make a copy, uh, highlight it all, hold shift and option, or just drag it up uh, to make a copy, uh, just in case we mess a bunch of stuff up and have to start over. Now you can grab all of this text and go to Object, Expand Appearance, and that's gonna turn it into paths for you. So the fill is still our yellow. Let's go to our stroke. We're gonna click black, We're gonna bump it up, um, always like to do the round join and the round corners. Um, and for this stroke, I'm going to align it to outside. So it's going to keep our shapes on the inside preserved. But yeah, just keep adding weight to the outside. That looks pretty good. I'm going to move this Y and cheat it a little bit. Because yeah, it was overlapping. Yeah, I like that. And uh, yeah, we want to create like this uh, like drop shadow, like 3D type of look too. So highlight uh, your, your type and Command C to copy, and then Command Option Shift V to paste in place. As you can see, I have a perfect copy over the top of my old copy now. So it has a black stroke already. Make sure you turn the fill black too. And let's just go like over a couple of pixels, down a couple of pixels, and it's in front of the text right now. We want to put it behind, so hold Command and hit the left bracket a couple of times until it goes behind the other text. Um, we've got a little bit of weirdness here, so let's go up. Like that. There we go. Yeah, I didn't like that a bit of white space coming out. And we'll adjust designs a little bit too. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, let's lock that. Uh, we can create some type that kind of follows this angle too. So grab the circle, uh, unlock uh, the layer, and copy it, lock it back, and we're gonna make a layer on top called skateboards and just paste it in place uh, command option shift V if you forgot um, we're gonna make this green we don't need the black stroke and yeah from here hold option and shift only and click and drag down and that's gonna scale that circle in place uh, from the center so yeah if you just like grab the top and did it it would it would scale it like down to the bottom so you it wouldn't give the effect that we want so yeah hold option shift and just scale it in a little bit like that um let's change this uh, that to a stroke instead of a fill and bump it up a little more just so we can see it and from here you want to go to the type on a path tool again just like we did the angle text here and sometimes this messes up for me sometimes it works this is a time that it messed up for me so um, I always just like have to grab like these and just kind of like figure it out like yeah you just kind of grab them and just like shove it in and it'll work uh, yeah you can keep messing with them to like get it in the place that you want or you can just like kind of rotate it from the outside uh, now that you have it uh, kind of on the inside where you want to and yeah just hold shift and it'll it'll rotate and scale it down a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna pick something simple like Arial 
uh, let's do let's do a bold, and I want them to like. Hold up. You can see they're like kind of like a little bit more spread out and squatty over here, so I kind of want to do that too. So let's spread them out with the tracking here, and then with the vertical scale, let's just go down like some percentages, and it's still a little bit big. I want to go and spread it out a little bit more. Maybe do do a little bit of extra squat to it. And yeah, you can. Um, I kind of want it. I kind of want to like. I want it to be like closer to the edge. So just the same. I'm gonna hold uh, Option and Shift, and I'm gonna scale it up, and that'll like push it uh, back closer towards the edge. Yeah, give a little bit more of an effect like that. Um, yeah, and I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, we're going to do one more thing just to give it a little bit more depth. Um, actually, I'm going to keep the letters locked. Or the skateboard letters, not our yellow letters. So yeah, make sure uh, your yellow letters and your red circle is unlocked and highlight everything. Uh, we're going to give it like a fake sticker back. Um, yeah, just to give it a little more depth. Um, once you highlight everything, copy, and then lock everything back, and create a new layer on top called sticker. And command option V, that's going to paste a perfect copy on top. Um, and then from here, we're just going to expand. Uh, sometimes it likes to like let go of that circle, so just keep highlighting everything and just expand it a couple of times until it, you, you know, you're sure that you've caught everything. Yeah, it looks like I've got everything. And from here, go to your Pathfinder panel and hit Unite. It's the first option. And let's change this to green. Not a green stroke, a green fill. Take the black stroke away. And yeah, you shouldn't be able to see any artwork. So yeah, you shouldn't be able to see the black, the red, the yellow, or anything under it. It should completely cover it. So grab that, go to the fill, turn it to white, and then grab the stroke as well and turn it white and bump it up. We'll just do 30 pixels. Um, and from here, you want to go to the effect, go to stylize and drop shadow. Let's do a quick preview of it just with these settings. Um, I kind of like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so it's on top of all the artwork. So now grab your layer and pull it behind your circle. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you kind of have a faux sticker design. You can uh, get this printed out. You can put your name on here. You can say Santa, Cur Santa Cruz made it for you specifically and that you're pro and that you're way better at skateboarding, but you're like sitting on a bunch of footage and you're not really skating that hard right now because you got to go to El Toro because like, you have like an ender right now, but you're about to go get that ender ender. You know what I'm talking about? And like people won't check on it. They'll like believe you're pro and like, you know, you probably get like some girls out of it or something. So, you know, good luck with that. Um, thanks for watching.